All right, we are on number three. Number three would be adding content to your curriculum to build background knowledge. So here's a question that always comes up. Is teaching comprehension strategies necessary? Are they beneficial? Now within building background knowledge, you can build that content. You can build vocabulary as well as strengthening their oral, oral language. All of these things can greatly contribute to learning how to read. I made a quick video about the simple view of reading, um, but the, it really helps to explain the importance of strong language comprehension with decoding and that's how you get to reading comprehension. I'll leave a link. Uh, the simple view of reading also has really helped me to uh, make decisions with uh, interventions as well. Um, now this baseball study is a famous one. It was done in 1988 and I encourage you to listen to it. It's very interesting to see how the knowledge of baseball contributed to the overall comprehension scores in this study. You can see they took four groups here high reading ability with high knowledge of baseball, high reading ability with low knowledge of baseball, low reading ability with high knowledge of baseball, and then low reading ability with low knowledge of baseball. So who do you think scored the highest? Of course they did, right? And then who do you think scored lowest? Of course this one. So here's the, here's the results though. This is the interesting part here. The group that had, um, a low decoding ability, and then the highest knowledge about baseball scored the second highest in the study. So if you wanna learn more about uh, the importance of building knowledge across, the con across content areas, I strongly recommend you to check out Natalie Wexler's The Knowledge Gap. I'll include a link of her talking about her studies as well. So she says like spending less time on strategies might free up more time to build knowledge and vocabulary. And then this could enable them to make sense of an increasingly sophisticated material that they're gonna confront as they progress through school. Now, in my opinion, I think the easiest way to build content along with um, a sequence, so you don't repeat things over and over, has been the core knowledge language, language arts. And let me just show you what this would look like. So this is first grade here. And if you go to core knowledge, it's free. It will show you, um, it starts with the human body and their, their read alouds, okay? Now you can do a lot with these read alouds, okay? It gives you an introduction, I'm trying to find the first one. It goes through the vocabulary words. So you're really gonna be concentrated on vocabulary as well. Um, all right, so here's everybody has a body. So it talks a lot about these things. And you can also have pictures with this flip book right here that helps to capture their attention. You can have them look at this as well when you're reading that. So it's really, really good. And I really think that it's probably the easiest way to really build that knowledge. Now there's other ways as well. I'd love to hear comments about how you do that in your class. Um, thanks for listening.